I know this one won't be in line, but I just want to talk about it because this is also one of those things with this banner could in theory drop in 2022, but could also be just 2023. And since we already had call up, I just want to give you a quick rundown about the shirt hero call up. Um, first up, banner one uh, has Raftadia Aqua. And I don't know what to say. She's really good for like one or two Serenas. And after that, she just falls off. Um, first up, she's a gotcha skill. So applies uh, helps the other unit with spamming skills. The second skill is an HP condition skill. That consumes Gotch to apply CDR. So without the Gotch, it will just do damage with no CDR. But if you have enough Gotch, it will apply CDR. So we pretty much just have Fast Aquas kit with a neutral basic. The thing here is why she's actually good is um, her damage numbers on her skill are pretty high. And thanks to the Gotch consumption, you don't normally use her ulti. So that she has bad ulties doesn't matter here because she just carries with her kit. And she together with uh, Fast Chris and Singer Kazuma just makes a really interesting team with like um, Kazuma applying the slow, Chris buffing the team, and then just Aqua helping every other with together with Chris to just spam their ulties and skills all the time. So the boss is always slowed. You don't do that much damage. Um, you boost it all the time, you buffed all the time, and yeah, just go ham with skills. That's the whole rotation with that team. Uh, but then again, we, after Shield Hero, got better wind units with Fast 2.75. Um, so that's pretty much her death. Or like with 2.5 alone with Cielo, I think was the first one that came after that. So she was good for like one or two arenas. And after that, she sadly fell off. But it was fun to actually use her when she was around. Um... The next one is actually our first kind of weird collab character, I guess. Um, which is... Where she is? Where she is? There she is. Kameko. We get a Kameko collab unit. Um, <laughs> and she has the weirdest kit of everything. HP condition skill. And she can apply a tier 3 light damage buff to herself. But you need gauge to do that. And... She can apply a speed boost to your tier to free to herself and also HP condition. But the speed boost as well needs enough gauge. So in theory, you need like 100% gauge to use both skills back to back to actually get the buffs, which makes her really weird to use. Um, the only good thing about her is a 50% gauge up passive trait, uh, no physical attack or magical attack buff, so she can be kindly used by everyone. Um, that makes it the best gacha assist after like Aqua and uh, Union. Especially for mages, like he's the second best gacha assist you can actually use. That's, that's the only reason he's actually good. Thanks to that. Kid wise, she's so weird, I don't know. And now let's talk about the call-up units itself. First we have Naofumi together with Aqua in part 1. Um, this is so weird, this is so weird. Um, First up, we have a skill that gives Gotch up. Um, that also blocks wind damage, which is good for if the enemy is actually wind, but if the enemy is, for example, Shogun, it does nothing. Um, second part is um, a skill that deals more damage if it can actually consume Gotch. And if it can consume Gotch, it will also apply a tier 2 speed to the whole team, I think. So. You normally want to use this skill first into that skill. But then again, his ulti is like really good and one of the main reasons we use it. Um, his ulti is 302% damage and applies a tier 2 ratio to the enemy and also applies a tier 2 or tier 3, I'm not sure, slowdown to the enemy boss. So with that, you can pretty much make the boss not be able to move at all, have ratio applied. And here come we to the actual old spam team that some of you guys might remember with like Erika and Kazuma. We just like use Erika old into Kazuma old into Erika old and with like two or three ultis. You should have enough gacha now for me to actually use the own ulti and then just read the, uh, then just again Erika, Kazuma, Erika and stuff like that into now for me old. And you, you just spam ultis left and right. Once or when a while you actually use a skill, for example, Naofumi's skill to reapply the speed boost or Kazuma's skill to reapply attack buff. 
Um, it's, it's actually fun, but it was like used once or twice and then he's gone sadly. Um, same with Rathalia, which is together with Philo, by the way, in one banner. Um, with Philo Comico. T has a light damage only, which seems good on paper. That actually also applies a tier 2 speed boost for 12 seconds. Um, with a gotcha skill and innovation skill, random hit, a random double hit. So she can dodge attacks in theory as a front unit. She can apply gotcha and speed to team up. So she seems like a really good unit for physical light. But then again, she was like used once or twice. And at that point, we we never had any arena where it's like, oh yeah, it's hard magic cog. We don't know how we what we do with this cog, if she even comes in there or not. We, I don't know. We don't know yet. We we had we didn't have this arena. So far she was like used once. Maybe twice, I'm not sure, but I think it was just once. And since then we haven't seen her. So I, I'm not sure if she will still be good in the future or if she just gets replaced the next time we have a this um, a mage cock light unit with another speed physical unit we'll see but so far uh, no unit on this call up seems to be like that really amazing i mean aqua is probably my favorite for the art alone i mean come on look at it and don't tell me this is cute aqua with ears and a tail every fury is happy now no, it, it, I, I don't know why, but I love the art. Like, how Philo hacks the tail and everything is really good. But, like, power-wise, the best unit might actually just be Komiku, thanks to her gotcha passive trait. Which is weird to say that a Komiku unit is the best color, but... It, in that time, I will live, I guess. Um... Okay, let's talk about the other banners i think um as i said before um the other union gets replaced by a new union and the new union is where she is where she is mm, there she is arabian union um she is just Beata Cecily and Crack kinda. She has a double hit. Also, a skill that consumes guards, so you don't want to use her ulti at all. But like 454% damage multiplier. If that thing crits with like one or two crits from random, that's such a big nuke in damage. It's insane. Um, you don't need her ulti at all in win because you just run fast Chris for the buffer. So it's it's really good actually for Union uh, with that kit to fit in in, in wind. Uh, she will be also good until like I think Bass CLO, probably the last point where we saw her. Um, but like in, in theory, she's actually a pretty good unit because she can do some pretty good nukes. Maybe even as a slot four unit, you you know, just come in, maybe get some guard trap from Fast CLO and to do one big nuke skill or something like that could still work. We haven't done that yet, um, but it's a union, guys. I know you want to pull for her. I mean, look at it. How how can you not want to pull for her? Background also spoils with the second unit we fair together, which is Mia. And to be honest, I, I have nothing to say about this Mia. She's Diva Block, which is nice, but again, we have Migu for that normally. Gotcha skill is, is nice, but there's like nothing that brings her above the line or like, oh yeah, this is crazy good. And so pretty much skip. Um maybe actually the last big banner of 2023 could be swimsuit um and i i don't have all the swimsuit units from that part so i need to go over here to show them off um first banner will be swimsuit megumin can't show you the art because i don't have it i'm sorry uh random hit with magic attack buff for herself i think um aoe skill with a tier 2 speed for the team Makes it actually sound pretty good, but then it's a problem. It's a Megumi. You normally use her to explode on a boss, so you get one speed boost out, and that's it. Which <sighs> makes it actually hard to use. The probably most interesting part about her is a passive trait, which is 3% dark damage boost and 3% magic attack boost. So if you don't have, for example, um, Halloween, uh, Valentine, Komiko, or you don't have um, New Year with, 
and you need the better magic attack buff or you need any dark buff you, you can use it for that but normally you just use the dark buff not gonna lie um so she's nice to have i guess but like no must have or like really crazy good the second unit together with her is uh Simsuit Vanir. He's a fire unit, but he has a problem with fire to himself. He doesn't fit in. Like, he has CDR, which is good. He can block wind damage, which is kind of nice. But then again, you normally don't need it or use it. Like, if there is a fire arena with fist block, he can be used. He can be good. Don't get me wrong. But it's also like maybe one arena where it actually saw him being used or two. And I was fine with Artem, so you should be as well, I think. Uh, especially because better Simpson units are on the horizon. Um, part 2 has Comico. And again, another really, really weird Comico. First up, she's a team passes trait that boosts every swimsuit unit's damage. So she's really, really good in a pure swimsuit team. But we don't have a pure swimsuit team. We we don't have that. So it's pretty much useless at the at this point. I I don't know what the what about it. The idea is cool to have like boost one skin line, but then like I would need like multiple units with the same element from skin line to actually make use of that. Uh, first skill is also a god shop consumption skill that applies a tier one or tier two earth damage boost to herself. I don't know. And the second skill is also consumes god to do a big nuke damage type of skill um there was actually like one or two arenas where we can use her to great success thanks to these kind of skills doing insane damage with like if you crit them it's it's really good like get the earth buff into second skill with a crit with fresh red buffs and everything it's insane how much damage this can be like 150k crits or something like that it's it's wild so she can be used in that regard but then again, if you have Accelerator and our Union, you, you have teams that you can just run fine without her. Maybe not like the highest high top rank for the one or two arena where you use her, but I think it's not worth it, to be honest. Unless you're, of course, Giga Whale, then you just pull for everything. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, second one with Kameko together is Meru. And <sighs> she's bad. She's bad. I can't say anything good about her. Random hit, which is fine. It's good damage, don't get me wrong. God Shop is also fine. But you don't have place for her in Earth at the moment. As I said, the Accelerator team, there there's no place. Where should you run her? Even as a main DPS, if you want to uh, replace Accelerator, for example, you just lose out on so much damage, it's it's not worth it. The only like really, really big one is the Part 3 Sims unit, which is also a single unit. So not like two units, it's just one unit in the butter. And it screwed me over hard in my summon session when I pulled for her. But it was worth it because she's really good. And that's Simsudo Lisa. She will be the Ninja Crisp replacement because she will be our new Water Rashford unit. With a random double hit. So just straight up more damage than Chris. And also 10% gotcha. So she together with Leia and Cecily will be our new Water Trio. Which has a lot of gotcha. Which is a lot of CDR. And everything you pretty much need from a water trio. The damage of this water trio is insane. Trust me. It's it's so wild. So I suggest if you pull a swimsuit, pull for her. Ignore the other butters. Of course, unless you're a Giga Whale, then you can do that. Um, let me just talk about two more butters. I don't expect them to be coming in 2023. But I, I just want to talk about them. In case they shuffle some stuff around. Drop some butters early or not. I think this is like the only two other banners that could, in theory, come early. I don't expect it, but, you know, maybe. Um, first up is Yukata with uh, Yukata Amy. Mm -hmm. Oops, it was too much far. Mia Amy. There's, oh, this is the wrong Yukata. This one is the right one. Um, she's kind of weird she's also being like used once or twice because again she has a tier 2 speed boost and it's like one of the things dark teams actually are missing a speed boost provider with cdr so double hit is pretty good damage she can heal a little bit she can apply speed boost so she's like good for mage teams but like bad for physical teams which is why she's not that much used um but it's like still one or two arenas where you can use her to good success but like not needed to be honest uh the other one is uh is iris 
I need to focus that don't say Aries because of the new Aries, but it's really Aries. Um, and it, it's a weird kit. HP condition with attack boost, which is nice. HP condition with CDR is nice, but then again, there is like not really place for pure physical dark units, dark team. Maybe the next one we get, we can see use of her if it's like really mage block and stuff like that, but. Uh, I don't know. So far, I haven't used her and I don't miss her. Heck, even the one time we had Dark and I used an uh, Air Iris, I actually used Fast Iris as, as the main DPS with her ulti 2 to just apply the big ulti 2 normal crits and it worked fine. So <laughs> I, I can't recommend them at the moment. And the last one is, a, um, is Ninja, which is a single Melissa. Whoops. This one and she kind of competes with snow Cecily because she applies um tier one electro t boost but she also needs gods to use the skill uh she has a slow which is kind of nice on paper uh thanks to the god consumption you probably don't use her ulti and the best case we actually used for her was to let her come in apply the buff once or twice and after that just feign to make place for another unit to do more damage so She's a nice to have, but like nothing crazy, too good where it's like, oh yeah, you, you need to pull for that unit. Okay, I think that should summarize hopefully all the battles for 2023 and a little bit more. Again, I don't know if I will split this in two parts, depending on the length, but if you have any other questions, ask them in the comments in my Discord somewhere. If the video helps you out, please like and subscribe. Um, one thing I forgot to say so far. All of this information will be in the video description down below in text form. I, I wrote everything down so you can just read it there if you don't want to listen to me. Um, everything should be in there hopefully. So uh, if I missed something, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. Please, please remember to like and subscribe. So you also don't miss the last part with the systems changes and stuff like that. I think it's really cool. And yeah, I hope this helps you out. Wish you all a nice, nice day. See you all next time. Bye bye.